Live from the edge of Austin, where smooth chocolate reigns and everybody plays the devil dinosaur and Hearthstone. It's going to be a great night. Now, Happy New Year, everyone. I, for one, am happy that 2022 is fucking over. And here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Yep. Uh, do, do you think 2023 is, is finally going to happen? We'll have a good one? I think, I think, yeah. No, I think 2023 is going to be great. 2022, like, look, everybody's entitled to a bad year, but I think it was the first year in a few years where people weren't, like, universally, like, this year was fucking terrible. Yeah. It, well, it's because we had because we had some real clunkers. Oh, I mean, there's no doubt about that. But, but yeah, uh, I mean, we had some real like <laughs> look under the year and see if there's warranty information. Well, because and, but, but, OK, 2020 was a weird one because it was objectively awful. But yeah. a lot of people stayed at home and collected some checks and they're all like, oh, so terrible. So terrible in my pajamas all day. Hanging out. Uh, <laughs> nobody was really happy. though. No, no, th- right. nobody was. But. They weren't Were you, as miserable. Or somebody you love, really happy. Uh, uh, 2020, oh, 2021 uh, was was like, okay, this is old. It was really bad. 2022 is like, that's when we divided. And some of us are like, okay, okay, we're doing it. We're getting back to work. Yep. Other people are like, I'm never working again. Yeah. 2023, I think, I think we're all ready to get off the couch. How do you feel? I don't think the people who aren't ready to get off the couch are ready to get off the couch. I don't know. Is, did, did anyone else have have that that change of vibe? Like ready to like I felt I, I felt really excited to get back to work. Like even the the last two weeks of of time off. Yeah, but that was I hated not working or not doing whatever I wanted before. Like I, there wasn't a moment I, I was never particularly enthralled with the lockdown. Uh, no, no, I, I, I was, I, again, I'm not yeah. pitching, uh, but, but uh, I was never tickled. I, some people, uh, who mm-hmm. already like to stay home. some people, uh, we all know who we're talking. We about. all know who we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. some, some people, people. with I, I, I a hard L E. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hey Bryce, do we have a topic? Uh, <laughs> first topic. Brian's first 2023 gig. I I don't know that I've said or been allowed to this say big one. anything about this. Mm-hmm. This is uh, a big one. Uh, big one. So um, my first gig of 2023, I'll give all the details here momentarily, mm-hmm. but it is the uh, second time I've ever done anything like this. And the first time I'll be the moderator. Yeah. I'm going to be, I'm going to hop on a plane. And I don't get to hold on to all of my magic tricks. I don't get to do my fire eating so that I can win over somebody's uh, support. I have to walk out there and just ask interesting questions to a person. Chat room, I want you guys, if, if you actually know, don't say it. But I would love what? to know the guesses that they have of who this person is. It's, I, it's, a it's not event. a good idea. No, you don't think so? Well, because they might say somebody who's like by fluke more interesting. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not possible. I, I feel Famous fairly last strong. Words. <laughs> uh, uh, Anne Margaret. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Penn and Teller, that'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. Mohammed uh, Atta, maybe? Uh, oh, my God. A lot, <laughs> of, a lot of dead people they're proposing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Amazing uh-huh. Jennifer Inclu- Coolidge. Include, including Mohammed Atta. Uh, with, <laughs> <laughs> that, that was what tipped me off. Jennifer yeah. Coolidge would be a good one. Uh-huh. Uh, David he has Copperfield. such great hair. <laughs> uh, Elon Musk. He nope, nope, them. nope. Uh, we, uh, uh, I'm going to hop on a plane. plane. You're going to come with me. I We're going to go to Lubbock, and I'm going to sit and watch two hours of Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, and then ask the most interesting questions I could think of as for an hour, I interview William fucking Shatner. Hey! Jealous. Brushwood, uh, so Shatner, Lubbock, be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so real quick, details. I, I believe it's a Shatner tour or something. We have a, a williamshatnertour.com is where you can buy tickets for right now. Think about anybody you know, or if you're willing to go to uh, uh, Lubbock yourself, uh, it's going to be... Where is the, Lubbock, Texas in Texas uh, uh, geographically? Like, uh, what, what, it, what would you say? Uh, this is uh, central. 
L L Lubbock, uh, uh, home of Texas Tech, uh, is, a, is a fine little Tatooine in the upper northwest corner. Uh, yes. of, uh, the north, northwest, five hours away. Northwest five Texas. Yeah. Uh, it's At Buddy Holly Hall. Yep. And, and uh, just like Mary on Tyler Moore. Friday the 13th. So I'm sure nothing will go wrong. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, yeah. So... Uh, <laughs> Uh, basically, yeah. Uh, the thing is, I have to come up with with good questions, and uh, I, I have a few, but uh, I would love to take serious questions from the chat. <laughs> nope. Uh, you know what? You're right. I'm just gonna back away. <laughs> just gonna back away. No, Love we're here Texas. now. We're here now. Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. No. William we... Shatner tour. <laughs> Uh, we can ask no, some bad actually, questions. No, now, now I'm seriously saying we should back away because now oh. if we just repeat things. It could be bad for the gig. <laughs> uh, uh, that's correct, but uh, but I do think uh, that that's something I had hadn't thought about. Somebody said, "Ask about horses." Seriously, uh, that's something that. Remember in that his uh, get a life sketch. Uh, yeah. uh, that's the second question. Is the first one is about his Kirk role, and the second one is about the horses. So I think he, he's really into horses, which I'm gonna have to look up. And <laughs> Did you know he owned a farm? Yeah. What kind of farm, Bryce? A horse farm. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Walked into that one. Yeah, it's a pretty easy. Kentucky. One. Okay. Ask him about that, or maybe maybe Wiki and make sure it's, an, it's there's a store there. I guess. Ask him what it's like to hang out with Ben Foles. Uh, I, well, and I, if there were five it, of him. <laughs> uh, five well, Ben Foles. I, I do. No, I do he only got there when the fifth was was hatched. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that album is is actually quite good. I uh, love it. it. Has been. Yeah. Yeah. We we all. It's all universal agreed. It's a great album. I want to know if, uh, if, if, what he thought he was going to be before he became known as an actor. He's going to be a Shakespearean actor. Actor for reals? Yeah. This is this is great practice. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 can you do a, can you do a musician? Shatner impression? Not at all. Uh, uh, well, well, let me try. Everybody can try. Yeah, well, it's it's one. God, you see, it turns into walking. That's the problem. Because, uh, <laughs> Just telling you, and then all of a sudden, I'm telling you, and it's like, okay, it goes away. Uh, it, we have to put commas in everything. How about like what a beam me up, Scott? No, 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 you got walking in your head. Yeah, I get walking's in my head. No, no, you got you to gotta be lower for Shatner. Yeah. Beam me up. Like, not a. Wait, here, 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 this is my usual lead in. I want this man. Off my ship. That's okay. great. Yeah, that's yeah, a great that's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was also thinking about how many, how many. Here, just just to give you, get you in the headspace. Yeah. Can you just say in that tone, in that voice? Great question, Brian. Great question, Brian. There's no way he'll remember my name. <laughs> great question, you. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about all the different careers he's had. Uh, like I, it's it's easy with everything else he's done to miss. The whole T.J. Hooker, like one of the most uh, yeah, uh, successful yeah. TV shows. Also, remember he—he's uh, a novelist. He did the whole Tech War series. Tech War. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, <laughs> BTW. Uh, little thing called I don't know. Went to space. Went to TD space. <laughs> yeah. This man did. Uh, like, I and mean, not just in our minds. Mm -mm. I, 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 Physically. I, I'm just gonna melt down. I'm gonna become Dana Carvey in that sketch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Chris Farley. Chris oh, well, Farley. no, but also Dana Carvey's in the Get a Life sketch. In the Get a Life oh, sketch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, not the one where. So remember the, that time? The, yeah, 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 yeah. You kicked that's, the that's more Chris Christopher. Farley. Yeah, in the face, and yeah, that was cool. <laughs> uh, How about Boston Legal? You're gonna have a lot of oh, Boston shit, Legal right. questions. Holy crap! That's yeah. Right. Can you ask him about Boston Market? Could you? Could you <laughs> ask him about shit? My father says. Wait, was he in that? Mm -hmm. He was the father? Mm -hmm. That was him, yeah. God dang. Uh, yeah. Uh, he sounds like a cool guy. I should go buy a ticket to go see you talk to him. That's right. Uh, go to WilliamShatnerTour.com and buy a ticket for Lubbock for Friday the 13th. That's yep. Right. Yep. That's not uh, this Friday, but next Friday, man. We were rolling right up on him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, oh, and uh, uh, what's funny is uh, I, I mentioned the gig, and Andrew Heaton was like, I would like to go with you. And then uh, and then we made complicated travel plans. And I was like, hey, it's going to be complicated travel. Uh, and he's like, I don't care. I'll do whatever it takes. I'm just, don't worry about me. Don't worry about a hotel room. I'm just going to show up. So so Justin and Andrew Heat will be there. Oh, wow. So I'll, I'll make sure to hear 
about all the mistakes I made during it. <laughs> no, you're gonna do great. There's you're gonna no do. Way. You're gonna do. You're gonna do awesome, man. This is this is like such an amazing opportunity, and it fell right in your lap, and I'm yeah. so pumped. Well, oh, and as a matter of fact, uh, it, it's it's the same guy that brought me to Schenectady, New York, uh, is is the one who thought to to call me. Uh, mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm very very excited. Uh, uh, that's the end of that tale, Bryce. Our next topic: speed run politic memory. Hey, man, what's going on with politics? Oh, man. So we don't have a Congress right now. Oops. Is that because the, the other Pope died? <laughs> yep. <laughs> pope we're waiting Alpine on... Died. What people don't know is that uh, uh, we, we run on a Pope-based Congress. <laughs> <laughs> and so we were running really fast because we had two Popes. And now we went to one Pope. <laughs> and so eventually it'll, it'll figure itself out. But, but we're running on one Pope right now. Well, and so uh, uh, you're running on thin pope, my friend. We had a backup pope. We don't have a backup. Exactly. Pope. No, no backup pope. Why? Why don't people? Wasn't there a guy who's? I, I heard a voice on the radio saying, "Anyway, I talked to the president. Uh, I think I've got this locked up." And then I hear, then I hear narrator voice. He does it. Isn't Kamala he supposed to do this? <laughs> so here's how things work in the United States of America's uh, uh, Congress. Uh, the House of Representatives has a Speaker of the House. You need a Speaker of the House before anything happens in Congress or anything happens in the House. The Speaker swears everybody in. So you literally, there's right now no members of Congress. There, there, are, there are congressmen elect, but there are no members of Congress. And so what happens on January 3rd is all the new members of Congress come in with their family because they elect a speaker and then they immediately get to swearing in and then they can usually get some kind of ceremonial day one business done that night. Oh, goodness. So today, for the first time since 1923, oh my God, uh, we did not elect a speaker on the first ballot. A uh, hundred years ago. It was a hundred years ago today. today. <laughs> <laughs> The previous Congress is still away, <laughs> and we really couldn't properly decide whether we're going to let it slide. So may I introduce to you, you. after a hundred years, another fucking divided Congress year. Uh, yeah, man. He, uh, uh, Kevin McCarthy is a congressional representative from the state of California, the Bakersfield area. He, uh, Tried to run for Speaker of the House uh, 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 several years ago, seven years ago, uh, after John Boehner got run out. He blinked then. And so this time he was like, absolutely not. I'm going for this. I'm going to try to make friends with everybody that hates me. I'm going to try to secure everybody's uh, 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 friendship. He did not. The people <laughs> yeah. that hated him still fucking hate him. And apparently they hate him so much that they will cripple the authority that whoever the new speaker is going to be like, they're going to be diminished compared to what they would have done if they just elected a speaker like they normally and do. And this is all on the Republicans. Yes. Right? Well, yes. Yeah. I mean, because, because they're, 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 they're yeah. I mean, in theory, I guess. Yeah. Technically Democrat the Democrats could help him to be speaker right. and they could vote for him to be speaker, but they're not going to do that. In fact, in the three ballots that were run today, the Democrat who, let me again mention, Democrats have less representatives in the House of Representatives than the Republicans do. Uh, the Democrat, Hakeem Jeffries, won all three ballots. Now, not by enough to become Speaker, right? but he had more votes. He, had, he a had a plurality, a plurality a over, uh, uh, or yeah, not, not beyond the threshold of, of where he needed to be. So uh, now who knows? Uh, he says, Kevin McCarthy says he is willing to, uh, he has the record after speaking for eight hours by himself on the floor for the longest floor speech. He says he is more than happy to also have the record for the most amount of ballots cast or most amount of uh, uh, revotes. Uh, yeah, revotes, basically, <laughs> which was in 1856 when Congress took two months <laughs> to That's name a, a speaker. Uh, if only it was. Three more years, that would we'd be at the uh, what? Oh no, wait, that's over a sesquicentennial ago. So yeah, 100, 170 years. Yeah, wow. And it turns out that uh, uh, Congress had a lot to go over at that time. 
Because it was only a few years away from a civil war. <laughs> Ominous portent. <laughs> oh, by the way, the last time this happened was between World War One <laughs> and World War Two. This is not a great sign in general when this kind of stuff happens. It only tends to happen around wars. <laughs> oh, Jiminy. Is it? I mean, is there? Uh, I would like to see like a joke ballot. Ballot like there's some congressman from somewhere named Stumpy, and then they just, like he just has a funny name, and he ends up winning. Yeah, Speaker Stumpy. I, yeah. <laughs> hey, you Stumpy, Stumpy, hang on. I wonder. I wonder if somebody could, as a stunt, change their name just legally, real quick, just so that it appears on the ballot that way. Real yeah, quick. and they're like, "Oh, I got to keep." No, believe. let me tell you what. But the other clusterfuck about this was is eventually there's 19 people that are voting against this guy. Right? He thought there was going to be five. Good news was for him, it wasn't five. Bad news, it was 19. It was, 19. Uh, I, I, it was I'm gonna, a lot more. I, I'm going to guess that unlike the laws, uh, 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 it's not a secret ballot. <laughs> My guess is he knows exactly who the 19 are. He knows exactly who the 19 are. They are not uh, shy about it. So the first ballot, they all vote for different people. Second ballot, they all get together and they're like, we're going to vote for one guy. Problem is that guy is supporting Kevin McCarthy. Oh no! And so, so he doesn't want to. Uh, Jim Jordan, right? So Jim Jordan is the guy is is the is their new like favorite person that they want to be speaker, and he uh, uh, nominates Kevin McCarthy, and he's like, "Don't vote for me. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be speaker. This guy should be speaker." And everyone's like, no, "Everyone, everyone you're whispers. Great. Everyone whispers. Isn't that exactly the kind of speaker that you want? Somebody who doesn't want the job? Literally, literally, what they're saying. Oh no! Like, yeah, <laughs> no, no not a job. Not a joke. Not a joke. Oh. Yeah, actual <laughs> political commentary. Uh, so yeah. So now they adjourned for the day. They're gonna start again tomorrow. Uh, will we have a speaker? According to Kevin McCarthy, he's like, "Hey, uh, uh, if if you are yelling at me because I haven't convinced nineteen people." Why aren't you yelling at them? Because they haven't convinced 202 people. Isn't that more of a majority whip kind of thing to say than a Speaker of the House kind of thing? Is that happened in 100 years? Nobody knows. Nobody knows what the fuck is supposed to happen aside from have a war. <laughs> war. Get ready for war. Uh, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's the only thing, uh, uh, that, that, well, no, many, many, many things are, are, are up in the air right now, but that's, that's the long and the short of it is that until this resolves, which is going to effectively, I feel like they could hash this out on Fox news in about 30 minutes. Uh, what do you mean? Like they'll pick their favorites based on how just symmetrical that, their that's faces really are? That's really what or? they want is just Fox news. You just say everybody involved. We're going to give you 15 minutes every night and you guys just get to, I don't know, run double dare challenges or whatever, <laughs> whatever will make you happy. <laughs> like, it's like, it's a, a speaker, your speech, uh, I'll take the physical challenge. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's, and then it's Paul Gozer and he's like trying to reach up the big nose and, and grab out the flag started. and stuff. I, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so you know, I don't know. It's a good time to own a hotel in DC. I bet. A lot of people just say, like, one more day, No, sweeties. my favorite thing is that, so, all, all the new people come in, and, and they bring their kids, because they're, like, right. this is a, a, an achievement of a lifetime to make it to Congress. Uh, so, you had a lot of bored kids. Oh. If you oh. liked watching bored kids on television... Then, uh, boy, howdy, uh, uh, on especially this. Oh, you better believe, like, pick, nary pick, a Nintendo Switch to be seen. Yeah. Oh, there are no <laughs> Switches. Although, because the Congress has not been formed, there are no decorum rules oh. for Congress. Oh, yeah, so, like, for a brief second, we get to be like England? Would everybody be all like, uh, you, you're terrible, you smell bad, you're a piece of shit? <laughs> yeah, basically. Or, uh, like I said on Twitter, uh, uh, Flash ass while you pass your <laughs> vote, you cowards. <laughs> Just be like, I'm here for the honorable Kevin McCarthy. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yes, Kevin, Kevin written on one cheek, McCarthy on the other. Oh, it's so much smaller <laughs> on the second one. A tattoo on the small of his back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm sure it'll go great. Price. <laughs> We have a news update. 
No, it's just that sounder was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. And that's enough of the news. Countdown recollections. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We had a New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's Eve. Yeah, New Year's 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 yeah, yeah. And uh, I had a, I had a pair of funny little stories happen to me on New Year's Eve. So I spent I, I we did the marble stream yep. uh, before before New Year's in America, and then I went over to Justin's for mm-hmm. for a little bit of a little little get together, little countdown get together. Yep. Uh, I didn't plan this, but I definitely showed up. At yeah. Midnight Eastern time. I showed up the exact second the countdown <laughs> was called on CNN. Yeah. Wait. wait uh, and, uh, so we're we're watching East Coast. You're celebrating East Coast. So it's yeah. eleven o'clock at night. Got it. And uh, we're like, yeah, yeah, like eight, seven, six, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! And then Bryce, like, Bryce is here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the New Year's baby. Hey, <laughs> May all Bryce. <laughs> It was so it was a little awkward because I didn't know if they were really seriously like doing it or if this was kind of jokey because it wasn't the central time zone. No, I knew as long as I was before that, that'd be fine. But yeah, I definitely just Kramered into it <laughs> into a situation where there are like four it people I never met. And, and also, okay. it's like uh, I wouldn't put it past Justin to say, "All right, here's what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what time it is, we're going to see when Bryce shows oh, up. He's coming. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. So that so that happened, and then an hour later. Uh, uh, you know, we actually had the actual ball drop, right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, most everyone there was like in a couple, right? And then oh, we had, yeah, we had kisses. Ashley. Kisses yep. abound. Yep. The smooches. Right. Yep. Um, but the, the two, uh, solo flyers yep. that evening were, uh, myself and Andrew Heaton. Mm-hmm. There we go. Oh, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I think get, I know how this your, ended. Get your, get, get your fanfic <laughs> ready, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Well, and we and so we did have a little bit of a moment when when everyone else was kissing, was kissing or popping the champagne, was like, sure. uh, "Have a very cordial New Year, <laughs> uh, you know, as well." Uh, it was a fun, it was a fun little moment there. Uh, <laughs> and may your 2023 be free of civil lawsuits. <laughs> yes, but I was. It was a funny. It was funny to go in the, into the New Year a little awkwardly. A little awkward. Disappointing heat ice stands. Uh, <laughs> heat ice. Heat ice. Oh, hot, heat, oh. Ice, heat ice. Heat ice stands yeah. are in shambles right now. But either that or Breton. Right. Yeah. Breton. Ah, <laughs> please be heat, heat ice or Breton. Heat ice. Please heat ice. I'm just saying, look up both on DeviantArt. <laughs> uh, all right, we got one last topic. <laughs> Gumbo Goose. Oh man! Uh, so so uh, after New Year's Eve, we have New Year's Day, and uh, uh, I don't know if you mentioned it on the air. The, the Gumbo Recovery. That I did you not do. talk about Gumbo Recovery. Uh, uh, it was What's the, the elevator secret? pitch on it? Uh, uh, it's something that I uh, have a tradition of doing every year, started by my mother, uh, to where we do an open house and I make two gumbos, or at the time my mother made two gumbos, and I make them now, and uh, I take a couple of days to like make the best platonic version virgin, virgin? Vir- virgin. A virgin, virgin gumbo, virgin. there's no gumbo it's in it a platonic virgin, <laughs> uh, never had friends, uh, but uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 but uh, very quotable yes <laughs> uh, <I'm- laughs> I make, I make. A, so it was a chicken and sh- chicken sausage, chicken and andouille sausage yeah. Yeah. Uh, with a roux and a uh, uh, shrimp okra uh, gumbo. Delicious. And then I s- opened the door. So no one got into the, the platonic virgin's cave. No, no, they didn't. <laughs> Still doesn't have a friend yet. Mm. Well, so yeah. and but, normally you you host this at your place, but yeah. but there were enough people maybe coming that you you wanted to host it here. It had been it been building over the years to where, uh, and it was always great, always a great time. Uh, EK's friends who are all introverts decide on that day to be as extroverted as possible enough to where my extrovert friends are like, wow, this is impressive. And so I thought maybe if we had more room, uh, it would be good for everybody. Well, and so, uh, uh, in order to help prepare the gumbo to make sure he does it right, because apparently he can't be trusted to do it. That's, uh, that's what she thinks. That's what she says. Brett's sister, uh, Simone, and her husband, Roger, Roger. Yeah. Uh, uh, came over with the camper uh, and, mm-hmm. and stayed the night. Um, and uh, I got to take him on the tour and everything. Uh, Simone, 
not shy about how we treat Brett on on this program. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, so wait, so so you got you got uh, to meet her? Uh, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, and and you, uh, yeah. as yeah. a result, uh, I was very pleasant and very cordial <laughs> and gave the extended full tour sure. of everything, sure. uh, hoping to 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 create. Did you want to talk some shit then, or or what? Oh no 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 no! Uh, now's when I'm going to talk some shit. Uh, <laughs> oh no, no no! She didn't talk some shit. <laughs> oh no no no! I I I, I mean she. I, the words I hate, Justin, may have been spoken. Yeah. 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 And Justin goes, that's fair. Well, I mean, look, we have something in common. Yeah. <laughs> well, so uh, uh, they, they're like, they're pro level campers. They're talking about all these. Uh, apparently, there's like a secret network of places that is free to camp, but, you know, it's expected to give a gift uh, uh, something. And because they're pro level campers, uh, uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of in and out, and we're starting up the day, and I and I look at them just like, oh man, this is a great. They, they don't they know how to make a fire. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and the campfire, uh, it's like it's not smoky everywhere like mine is. Okay, and then I come back, I'm like, that campfire still looks great, and it's been hours, and it's the end of the day, and I'm like, oh man, this campfire is fucking dope. It's awesome. And then uh then I look up at the bar set and realized they've been using the logs <laughs> from the fucking set. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, but, now what? Uh, now what? Now hey, now what might be wrong with that? Uh, it's wood. Uh, it's wood. Uh, well, but, uh, I wouldn't blame. I I do remember saying, and this is the set we made to look like every Central Texas bar. <laughs> yeah. And I don't blame them for picking the good logs that make up the set. <laughs> <laughs> but but now, well, how, uh, how many logs? Was, I mean, what is it, like a couple of logs? Like it's one. big. Uh, you you can see it. Uh, there's a uh, oh, one like a enough, little enough little that I'm going to be ordering now. a lot one, more wood. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> on one side. Now. It's oh. like it wasn't until. I looked up and I was just like, "That's a that's that's a that's a that's a that's a dog-eared page now, isn't it?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone's gonna need to bunch in real tight if you're shooting restart. outside. Yeah, uh, but uh, it was no, it was a lovely time. Uh, hey, but you know what would be even more lo lovely is if I could afford more wood. Yes, Brian, if you could afford more wood, you'd buy it. You'd call Hi, the doctor. I'm Justin Young. I'm here. <laughs> To support Brian's need for wood. He's been without wood for so long. <laughs> for only a, a dollar a day, you could give him so much wood that he'd be embarrassed by it. He'd keep it in his pants. <laughs> and sometimes the wood would be so cumbersome that he'd flip it upward into his waistband. Brian's wood. Without it, he cries. With it, he thrives. Go to patreon.com <laughs> slash great night and make sure that is. Brian's wood is uh, sturdy and erotic. Uh, just a dollar a day is all we're asking now. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, whatever. But a dollar a day, you'd be a real cool person. You would be you our favorite it, if, person. Yeah, if you Boy, uh, 2023 would definitely be off to an amazing start. If, if somebody everybody up gave a dollar a day. A dollar a day. Uh, uh, yeah, man, uh, go on over there. Get the uh, Bones podcast that come out on Thursdays. Uh, it's it's just a, it's just a good way to live your life, man. If you like this show, if you wanna if you wanna be you know, we ran a one, of, one of the there. Bones podcasts uh, on the on the main feed, didn't we? Or, or or that style. If you enjoyed us hanging out with Penny, yes. Uh, if you enjoyed our Zeitgeist episode, then uh, you will definitely enjoy the Bones because that was very much in that vein. We recorded a Bones episode and then we recorded a main episode right after that. So it's a little bit more relaxed, uh, a little bit more of us kind of shooting the breeze. And, and, and uh, yeah, am I right, Bryce? That like once somebody becomes a patron, they get the whole back catalog. We have, we must have a hundred of those now. Yeah, it'll show up right in your Patreon RSS feed. You'll just. Just look for the ones that don't say Great Night on them. They, they are not otherwise labeled. But, yeah, uh, it's all in one easy feed. No password. No password. No password. If you thought there was a password, boy, do I want to disabuse you of that notion. <laughs> because you're you're being a real asshole with this whole password thing. Is, is and you need to stop repeating it. Like nurturing? Wouldn't that mean the same thing? Disabuse. I've always heard it as I need. I need to correct the record. No, that that is the correct meaning. But I'm thinking like, yeah, don't abuse, disabuse. I'm like, wait. Well, you <laughs> need to. Un you're unabusing it. Unabusing. The, it. What's the opposite of abuse? It'd be like to treat to nice, aid. To aid. Yeah. I think we fixed it. Hey, Bryce, you have a game? Yeah. Hi, we do have a game. Hello, everybody. Uh, well, it's a new year. I wanted to celebrate the new year with you guys. I got you a little bit of a gift. I I decided we're gonna do a very easy quiz tonight. 
Mm. Oh, well, that sounds uncomplicated. That's a, just, we'll just do a nice, easy quiz. In fact, you Brett, know, we're going to ease into the new year oh, with an easy quiz. Brett, would you like to play? <laughs> no. Okay, well, let me let me log in. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. oh, no. Wait, what? Oh, what happened? You know, it's, it's, it's cedar season here oh. in Austin. Wow, that's a local reference. Wait, yeah, I guess we should explain. It. It. It's the great and terrible. Oh, you are going to explain. Yeah, Never we're going to kind of okay. Hold, okay. Talk okay. right into it. Yeah. So, so every <laughs> this time of year, uh, the cedar trees, which are, are they're they're native here and in Japan. Yeah. But they love this the the cold temperate weather here, and so they release all the cedar pollen. It takes a few years to develop a cedar allergy. Yes. Uh, J- Justin, you haven't had a cedar. Your your allergies are totally fine, right? I now. don't have any uh, a particularly a crazy reaction, although I'm a little bit uh, uh, sniffly outside, and and I think it's affecting my voice. I think my voice is lower because of the cedar. Mm. Brian, what uh, about you? Are you I, I I definitely have scraggly voice, and what's what's wild is uh, daily I, I use the Flonase, so it used to be that my nose would drain. But now my nose doesn't drain. I just cry uncontrollably yeah. all day, all the time. Yeah. Go. Oh God. I, I get it in in my eyes, and then I, if I touch, if you touch your eyes, and oh. oh, then it, then you're done. You're done. Now it looks like you have pink eye, and you're sad about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it looks like the pollen got into the cloud. Uh, <laughs> and, ah, damn it! <laughs> and this has turned into the. This e- is what happens when all the tech companies move to Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Elon Musk. Uh, that's that's why we're gonna be playing the eater fever quiz today. Woo! Instead of cedar fever, eater is it like an electronic? Oh, okay. oh, oh, got it. Yeah, yeah, like cedar. E- yes, e dash ter. E dash d. Well, eater. 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 Go on, I dare you. Eater. Eater. She's she's not gonna wake up. Just just. Wow. Munch on that thigh. Wow. <laughs> just bite. Whoa. Just chew. what? what? We're man? cannibals. Are you? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> we can Jesus she, Christ! She, uh, yeah, she's you were walking explorer. down a path. No. Oh well, I, I'm walking on a path up to here. Let me chop up his head. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? The cannibals don't have to be murderers. <laughs> oh shit! That's a very good point. Ethical wow. cannibalism. Yeah. Is that a thing? Uh, in this skit, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let, I, you just broke me. <laughs> you see, he gave a good science fiction concept instead of an improv joke, and we got stopped up there. No, it's good. Is that it? it? It's, it's oh. kind of like that uh, Stephen King story where a dude's trapped in an island, but he's a doctor, and he's trapped with uh, heroin he was smuggling. So he just gets so hungry, he starts cutting off his <laughs> legs and eating them. Really? Yeah, I, I guess I should have said spoiler alert. It's a short story. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, we just got to the end of it. Yeah, sure. Well, but the, le- the the end is like when he finally it's is eating his fingers. It's fucking it, like there's nothing. Stephen left. King. It's probably aliens. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry. Okay. Eat eater eater fever quiz. Uh, let me let me access the file here. Let's see what the example. Can we do just an example question? Let's do sure. an example one. Yeah. All right, Justin. We'll start with you on the example question here. Mm-hmm. What is the sneeze of France? Ah, <gasps> oh. well, like. What the fuck is going on here? Uh, they got the they got the virus in the machine. Can you can you just figure this one out for me? Sacre chew. <laughs> in fact, why don't we have you both answer what this question is, and whoever's closest to the actual question, okay, will get the point. How about <laughs> that? Uh, so, wait, oh, <laughs> so Justin, your answer was this was sacre sacre chew. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, sacre chew, and, and yeah. Brian honk chew. Was honk shoe. Honk shoe. Okay. Well, wouldn't it be honk honk shoe? <laughs> yeah, I think I, still I don't want to know you. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> fuck me. That was stupid. <laughs> but you're well, right. That that was a good plus. All right, well, uh, it looks like the original question here is, what is the capital of France? We were looking for Paris. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's gonna steal one of the most important words. Okay, all right, Paris. all right. Okay, so right. do we get the game? I get now? it. I get it now. <laughs> all right. Well, in fact, Brian, why don't we go to you for this? I'm one hundred percent here for this. This is what you're. This is a brilliant invention. And the more annoyed it makes Justin, the happier I'm gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, is you're a goddamn hero, fucking... and we need to raise money to build you a bronze statue. This is fucking stupid. All right, Brian, we'll start <laughs> with you here. I mean, we gotta, we gotta do this. We gotta. Who was this the is... cough president of the United States? Can you answer the original? There's no fucking a me. million things that this could be. Uh, I believe the answer is <clears throat> George Washington. 
Brian's going to say Washington. What What do you think? Why would you think it was first? It could be fifth, 15, 27. I just have a, I, I had a feeling. I felt a tickle in the back of my throat. Oh, fuck you. Who was the Barclays cough game. president of the United the States? Who was the cough president? <laughs> the cough president. Uh, Carter. Do you know that this is what we do for money? <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean uh, we uh, do this uh, for money. I, I mean, if you, uh, <laughs> this is money. This is money you're fucking with, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the cough president the, of the United States? Yeah, I, I just I can't fix the question. Ulysses but can you, can F. You answer, Blast. Can you just answer the original un un uncorrupted? Question? Oh, now, now your eyes are gonna get all I'm red. Touching my eyes. <laughs> I'm touch your eyes. You'll learn. I'm gonna look time. like I have a pink eye, and I just watched a movie. Oh, what movie? Sad. What, what movie? Killer. Sad movie. Sad movie. <laughs> I watched The Notebook. <laughs> Who was the, the Notebook the president of the United States? <laughs> yeah. Who would that be? Same fucking thing. Uh, uh, Thomas Same Jefferson. premise. Yeah, he wrote books. The you only one that can do this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the popcorn shrimp president of the United States? <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's, that's Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> he did uh, everything. That guy yeah. did everything. Uh, are you going to the cough president? Who Whatever. Cough president? Uh, Abraham Lincoln is the cough president of the United States. All right. Let's take a look at what the answer to the original question is. We were looking for uh, George Washington. Yeah. Yeah. The they first. corrupted the first. the first. Al, Brian, you really know how to play this game. I'm ready. I love it. <laughs> it's it's good all luck. It's <laughs> all right. Just, we'll start with you here. Let's, <laughs> let's see what the... How about we fucking end my life? <laughs> let's see what the virus question is. Uh, what is the wheeze wheeze for the element helium? Uh, <laughs> what is the wheeze wheeze for the chemical... For the element helium? When you showed up on New Year's Eve, I should have <laughs> shut the fucking door in your face. I should have shut the fucking... If I knew you were up to this shit, I would have shut the fucking door in your face. What is the wheeze wheeze for the element helium? Fucking... What, what, I, I guess it's the periodic chart thing. What is it? H-E? H-E. All right, the wheeze wheeze for the element helium is H-E. All right, I was uh, going to say H-E, Brian. I believe the answer is two. I'm going to say two. Now, what yep. is that? Oh, well, I mean, that would be it's the atomic the... weight. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're well, fucking right on this. Let's take a look at the correct answer here. We were looking for... <laughs> H-E! Oh, That's fuck, just you. fuck you! This game is bullshit! No. I revoke your statue! <laughs> no, you want to know what? <laughs> it's still bullshit. I still hate it. <laughs> I still hate it. <laughs> All I'm right. not going to like it. This isn't going to be one of those bits where I start liking it at the end. Okay, good. I'm going to fucking stick to this. All right. All right. We're gonna... New year, new me. Oh, it, it, I hate this bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to keep hating like it. The old I don't give a <laughs> fuck if I win every question right. I hate it. <laughs> Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Okay. Uh, my infected question is, in what year did World War II fart? <laughs> You still hate it now? <laughs> this is embarrassing. In what year did World War II I think Justin far? actually knows, uh, but I want to say... I'm going to transfer all the hate that Brett's sister thinks I have for him into this game. <laughs> 1939? 38. 1938. Brian's going to say 1938. Justin, in what year did World War II fart? 19... Goodness. I'm so embarrassed. There's a fart 40... Three. In 1943? Yeah. All right. We've got two answers here. 1930. I think, I think it was already farted, but the United States didn't want to participate. But then they smelled that there was trouble. And then they joined in around that time. I'm not going to play around with this. This is like, <laughs> look, you, you want to monologue about this shit? This is fucking beneath us. This is a bad fucking idea. <laughs> This is a terrible idea. <laughs> All right, the, an uh, awful idea. The healthy Who answer. the fuck had this idea? <laughs> when did World War Two? <laughs> when did World War Two far? Yeah, just yeah, did, did you want to see it again? What the year? silent but deadly generation? Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> but I didn't like that. I, I didn't like that. I didn't like it. 
I didn't like it. <laughs> I have a around. job to do, Brett. <laughs> yeah. People pay money for this show. Yep. Oh, wait, it could have been end. That would have been a hold on. Could That's I? That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got your answers here. The col- the correct answer, the uninfected answer we were looking for was 1945. Uh, we're going to give Justin the point on that one because he was closest. Hey, you were closest, Justin. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, Brett, what's the score going into our next round? Well, as we go into round, what round are we going into? We're going into our fifth round. Fifth round. In this fifth round, uh, we have Brian has only one point, uh-huh. and Justin, who's obviously starting to take a liking to this game <laughs> and sees the quality <laughs> bit parts of it, has two points because he's so into this game. He loves it and he's so good at it. Yep. Thank Shut you. Up. Thank you, Justin. Stop gaslighting me. <laughs> All right, Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Oh, thank you. Uh, the, 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 this infected question I've got is. Fuck you. What is a whore <laughs> used in Japan? <laughs> what is a whore <laughs> used in Japan? Wow, I don't, I, this computer, the virus, the pollen got it. What in. the fuck? <laughs> what is the whore what are you, what, used what's in Japan? What's your end game here? <laughs> uh, what's your end game? What do you want out of this? Comedy. What uh, is the <laughs> hork uh, uh used in Japan? Huh? Yeah. The hork. Just, it, just think about what the actual question is and just answer the actual question. Yeah. I know That's the, the original question that before the virus. Oh, I'm up. sorry. Yeah. It's very clear with what the hork uh, uh used in Japan. Yeah. What is it? <sighs> Brian's dancing like he knows the answer because I think he knows the answer. And, and by the way, Justin, it's not what you said. It's the hork. Uh, uh, That's what it, just in case you weren't clear. Just want to help he, you out. He is a voice actor. Out of respect for your sister, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> what, are we, what do you think the hork uh, uh could be, Justin? The hork ug uh, uh don't, don't hold his hand. Used in Japan. He touched Japan. his eyes with those. <laughs> the hork ug uh, uh used in Japan. The pork for <laughs> oh God, forearm. Suggestions in the chat. The pork forearm. The the the. The fr- friend Brian is doing the Charleston next to me. <laughs> I, I, what I don't, I mean, uh, what I, it, it, an aircraft carrier. All right, Justin's gonna say an aircraft carrier. Uh, Brian, what sh- do you think? Show me yen. You're gonna say yen. What are you? So, I'm sorry. What word are you thinking of in the question? Oh, uh, uh, we'll find out if I'm right. Okay. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I mean, could be, I mean, obviously, because I think it's unit of currency used in Japan. What's the unit of currency used in Japan? Used in Japan. Type so of money. You Name for money. Pork is unit. Yep. Of. Uh, three. is of. Yes. And uh is currency. Yes. yes. Uh, I, I, th- I think it tracks. Used in Japan, and that would be the yen. Yep. Which is what they, that's their money. So yeah, my, my only weakness is not knowing the answers. <laughs> like, I speak the questions <laughs> fluently. <laughs> well. You actually, you knew it immediately. <laughs> like, you started dancing the second that you saw Hork. Uh, uh. <laughs> it took me a moment, but I got there. He got there. All right, the answer we were looking for was... Yeah! Yeah! Of course, of course. Sorry about that. Okay. The greatest game. So they don't. It's on theme. It's local. It's global. I don't know. Going I, I remember. Time and space. I remember when I was there, I was changing my dollars for aircraft carriers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just a few more here. Brian. Yep. We're going to start with you. What is the snort excuse me in the solar system? Oh. Uh, what is the snort excuse me in the. Oh, man. This. this and, the, and the pollen. And the pollen got Jesus. into my gunk. Oh, of course. Uh, that would be Jupiter. Hey, Jupiter? Why do you believe Jupiter is the answer to this question? Because boys are stupider, and I'm a boy. Uh, that <laughs> tracks. Okay. okay. I, I, I mean, I, I, because There's uh, literature about this. Uh, sh- should I be disclosing my, my math on this? Because Justin's still... No, because no, yeah. Brian's playing fucking bare-knuckle... <laughs> Here in the snort, excuse me, in the solar system game. What's it's, this? it's, I, I, I suspect. No, this. I don't need your fucking pity. <laughs> <laughs> I can puzzle this horse shit out. 
What is like this? a magic eye. You just stare at it long enough, and it'll pop out. To you. <laughs> What's the? It's at least three D. Excuse me, in the solar system. Yeah. What's the? Oh fit, shit! Fit Hold on. Planet. I'm wrong. I just realized I'm wrong. The fur the. Plant. Who? It, what is the? I'll say the the, the words. Uh, this is not like uh like say apologizes for. It's not exactly a one to one. Thing. Oh, okay, 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 got it. Okay. I lo I looked into the code of the virus. Oh, good. I'm glad we. we <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the yeah, we're working on it very hard. Back here. Is I've updated. got Neo, I've got Trinity, I got both of those little white twin guys. It's all wow. cool. I know. Are yeah. they all coming to your F1 party <laughs> 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 with the killers and the crudite? Snort, excuse me, Justin. Uh... Oh, yeah, sorry. I was just trying to do some comedy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing it. You're doing oh, it. Oh, yeah. I was just trying to. Oh, geez. No, let's get back to the question. <laughs> what is the snort excuse me in the solar system? Yeah, just if you could figure out. Just... Science still what it, is. It, it, what it, is the snort excuse me oh. in the solar system? What, what, no, what? I, I got, a, I got a, a, a thing. How about you lift this question word for word with Shatner? <laughs> <laughs> what oh. is the snort excuse me in the solar system? And then I'll follow it up with the says, Shatner says, what? Yeah. <laughs> And then he'll say, uh, uh, I love that episode. <laughs> and he'll say, well, I am the big giant head. All right, last chance, Justin. What is a snort? Excuse me. Oh, I don't know. Fucking Mercury or some shit. All right, Mercury or some, or some shit. shit. All right. Well, let's find out what the, what the, un, uh, the unvirus answer is. We were looking for <laughs> Jupiter. Yay! Because the question was what, Justin? I don't know! Uh, because the question was what, Brian? Uh, what is the largest planet in the solar system? What is the largest How the fuck planet? I mean, it's so obvious to Brian. Oh, wouldn't it be evil if, like, I, I, I was fed the answers in some kind of evil... No, I didn't mean to even bring that up. Oh, I mean, <laughs> why are you doing that? You know I don't mess around <laughs> with the pinky swear. I think it's... Let's get to the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the end of the game. All right, two more here. Let's get to the end of the game. Two more. We're it's gonna fucking nonsense. <laughs> no, it breaks a lot of sense. Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Who invented the first practical silent fart? Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, the, the, the pollen. It got into my trivia. <laughs> <laughs> a, so it's practical. It says first practical silent fart. Uh, now, right now thing. real quick, um, is, is this who invented the first practical... <sighs> or is it... Who invented the first practical silent? Oh boy, I, I wish I knew. Oh no, there's no way to know. There's no whether or not way to silent know. might be the word. Is it a silent fart or is it just a fart that's that that's corrupted? I don't know. fucking. <laughs> uh, who invented the first? Practical silent fart. So I guess there was an yeah. impractical version yeah. of a two. So it would be the first practical joke versus practical monkey butler. Mm. <laughs> the first practical. Oh man, you know when Android technology develops? There's gonna be some awesome Android monkey butlers. And are you into that new Android girl movie? Because I kind of feel like I'd be into that new Android girl movie. Wait, wait, which Megan? one? Megan? Oh, I, all I saw was one creepy still frame from it. And I was like, what? Yeah. It's uh, like, it's like, oh, it's a new it's Android. Like a giant, uh, vaguely girl. Shape. Yeah. But yeah, it's like, it's like a, like a kind of a mask sort of thing. That, oh. oh, yeah. Look at that shit. shit yeah. Like kind it's of a like doll a ceramic face. doll. Yeah. yeah. That's horrifying. That's Chucky, too, right there. Yeah. Oh, no, but brilliant. it's like, yeah, in, in the grand tradition of haunted doll movies, but now it's AI. Yeah. Uh, Fuck. Well, whatever. Fucking the silent fart. Uh, the first <laughs> practical. Uh, uh, Who invented uh, the first practical silent driving fart? car? Uh, Henry Ford. All right. You're going to say Henry Ford. Brian, what do you think? Who invented the first practical silent fart? Uh, I, I think Justin was close, but I believe it was Thomas Edison. You're going to say Thomas Edison. What do you believe the, uh, the uh, original uh, question should have uh, been? Uh, well, uh, I mean, I, 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 I'm only saying that because knows. it was the first practical elephant electrocuting device. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, but I think the answer is Thomas Edison. All right. Although I may be right for the wrong answer. 
<laughs> for the wrong reason. All right, well, let's take a look. We are looking for... Alexander Graham Bell. Oh, very fuck. close. Ah, very close. He didn't invent practical, any elephant the, electrocuting device. The first practical telephone? Uh, yeah, there are many people who are uh, credited with developing the telephone. Mm -hmm. Wait, uh, but is telephone two words? Oh, no. No. It, it, it got established. It, we got tricked. We got tricked by the virus. The virus gave two words. Right. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be two yeah. words. In fact, oh, gotcha. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no, that's that's great. great. Good. Well, then you'll be great now. That's great. <laughs> there you go. No, I'm just going to add that one to the old rubric, and uh, we're going to break this fucker <laughs> down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. So it's not even... Same word number. <laughs> right. Could be infinite number of words. You know, and I wish Small I, number of words. He did, he did any disclose Any number this. of words. Yeah. And I wish I could control the vi the, the pollen. Oh, I yeah. Adult, I ran out of antihistamines. Yeah. He apologized. Oh, 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 look hey, at Justin, that. Oh, hey, 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 Do I need hey, to sell that one again? Oh, oh, All right. This is our last oh, round. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, right, what? Hey, what a game. <laughs> Love with this game, man. I'm just... A, I'm just a, uh, Average game enjoyer, and I just fucking, I gotta say, 10 out of 10. Nailed it. Uh, out of the park. I don't know if anyone heard it, so I'll say it again. Uh, uh, Bryce apologizes. <sighs> <laughs> All right, before we get to our final question, Brett, what is the score? The score is Brian has three points. Justin's almost there. He's got it all figured out, but he has two points right now. Oh. He's only got two points right now. Of course, this is our 10-point round. Oh, it's anybody's game. Are because, oh, do, are we going to text you the answers? Uh, no, you'll both, uh, you'll both do it. Like, okay. <laughs> no, let's go above and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Ed, let's see who who is in the lead. Brian, since you're in the lead, you're going to have to answer first for me on this oh, one. Oh, doggone it. Uh, the, uh, the virus question is, what is the process... <coughs> <laughs> Ooh, sorry. <laughs> so what is the process? Cough, hack, sneeze, sorry, achoo. Could be one word. <laughs> Could be an entire book. Yeah. Uh, what are you thinking? Uh, well, you th I, 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 the virus has been a little bit flexible between two and three, but in general, it's, it's, it's been pretty close to about the duration. So the question is like, what is the process of what is the process of uh, pasteurization? Uh, uh, and I'll answer: it's the heating of something to kill bacteria. All right, the heating of something to kill bacteria. Yeah, Justin. let me uh, let me see it again. What is the process? <laughs> you know, that's there's no way that's that's just two words. Uh, or I, is it? I, I, I'm going to stick to, I'll stick to my answer of what is the process of, of pasteurization, but I think that's meant to be many words. What is the process by which water freezes? Or what is the process by, the process by which, the process by which um, uh, uh, an egg is fertilized? Uh, the process by which, uh, uh, oh, fucking something turned into something. Um, uh, 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 the process by which, uh, 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 two atoms fuse, and it's fucking fusion. It's fusion. It's going to be my answer. All right, Brian's going to answer fusion. Justin, did you follow any of that? <laughs> <laughs> Show the fucking question again. Sure. Uh, the, the virus question, what is the process? Cough, hack, sneeze, sorry, a chew. Say a chew again. <laughs> Process. All right, let me just say this. I don't know who came up with this game. I don't know who thought it was a good idea. I don't know how it came to darken my doorstep. But as soon as we're done with this, <laughs> if I ever, <laughs> and ever. I mean ever <laughs> see this fucking game on this show again i'm walking off the set i'm gonna drive to a pier and i'm gonna <laughs> jump off it i'm gonna be in the water and i'm not gonna come out for a 
good long hour. And that, I'm going to be very sad in the water, off a pier, and my parks, my car is going to be parked incorrectly. <laughs> and I'm not going to give a hoot because I'm going to be in the water. And what is the name of that process? Photosynthesis. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, we've right. got your answers here. This is, of course, our 10-point round. Your answers, Brian said fusion. This game's bullshit. Justin said photosynthesis. Gentlemen, one of you is exactly correct. Oh, it's not me. <laughs> one of you is going to take the entire so thing home. We were looking for... Photosynthesis! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Justin loves the game. Justin loves the game. <laughs> Justin loves the game. Your winner, Justin Robert Young. Justin, what are you gonna do with your win? I stand by everything I said. <laughs> Fuck this game. My immense talent has nothing to do with my judgment that this game is terrible. <laughs> If you've got an idea for a game, please send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or join us in our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. Uh, there's uh, different places to post stuff there. Uh, yeah, thank you. Man, I've um, uh, got some stuff that I wanted to talk uh, through during the after show, but it's more kind of housekeeping stuff. Uh, I guess, uh, uh, is, is this a wrap? Are we, are we going to wrap? I don't know, man. It's our show. We can do whatever the fuck we want. You, you, you want, want to rap it. about how much you hate this no, game? We're done with that. <laughs> okay, that was, that was all right. Good. That was a good bit. That was a great bit uh, before. That that was a really good game. Uh, could you tell us? Let's who... not get fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That was my. It was my idea. It was my idea. It's great. It was. Uh, it was because I had. I did have because I woke up and I had the cedar stuff, and so I. <laughs> Uh, I asked GPT, I, I asked the chatbot to come up with a the question. The director's commentary oh, in this game. <laughs> yeah, cool. Because we have one more minute to fill, and now we've done it. Brett, what have we learned? Well, Brian, we've learned that uh, Cedar Fever has caught up to Justin already. Uh, we learned that poor Brian seems to have caught Bieber Fever. Bieber? And, uh, Bieber Fever? You Jesus. got Bieber Fever, and Bryce is now locked down with Weaver fever. Oh for yeah. Some reason. Oh yeah. And uh, and uh, I know <laughs> what game we're going to be playing. <laughs> uh, it'll be a different allergen. Uh, Bryce, <laughs> my, uh, one note you should have on the last answer said the answer is photosynthesis. You should have teased me a little bit. Because it would have sounded like we have notes on the game. We have a commentary on the game. We have notes on the game. Why are we doing meta commentary on the game? <laughs> he said after doing meta commentary. I was about to say. Game, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it's still been a. <coughs> Go fuck yourself, Bryce. <laughs> Shine on, you Bryce. You, you what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, touching my eyes. This is perfect. <laughs> smooth. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, greater Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>